Hey guys, Romy here, so please like, comment, subscribe. This is the season finale for, if all of you is wrong, season 3 or season 5, episode 22. Sound the alarm. Now, the episode starts off with, yes, it's Travis. Travis is in the house. He has Kelly yoked up, and essentially, he tells her this. He has a knife, he's willing to use it, and it's either she go and have sex with him, you know, make love to him like she did when she did the revenge sex just to tell him that it was over. She wants that same feeling, that same rush. And he tells her if she doesn't do it, then she's going to kill him. Uh, no. If he doesn't do it, he's going to kill her and then leave her corpse there for justice to see in the morning. I said, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for any of this. Mind you, of course she agrees because he's like, okay, let's go in the shower. I'm thinking, all right, this is your chance. This is your chance. She needs some type of leverage right now. He has that knife. Don't get froggy. Yes, say yes to everything. Yes, I still love you. Yes, say yes to everything. So now they're in the bathroom. And she she's terrified. It's like, what's wrong? Oh, is this a knife? So he puts down the knife. She's like, okay, cool. But then he goes and says, you know what? I love you so much. So much. That I, I I want you to get on your knees. I said, we're not doing this. We're not doing this today. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. You didn't do that. I said, I said, oh God, Kelly, okay, weird. I'm not. I'm not. No, no, no. So then, of course, she gets down on her knees. I said, Kelly, this is your opportunity. You better bite for your life. So she does it. She, we come back from commercial break. She bites. She bites. He spazzes out. Now, again, the bathroom is locked. So then he tries to yoke her up and choke her again. But this time, Justice is awake. Because you can only make so much noise before the kid's like, oh. And oh, thank God Kelly actually made noise. It was like, forget trying to protect him from this. He still needs to have a mother at the end of the day. So she was going, making as much noise as she can. Justice said he's calling the police. And Travis was trying to get her to be quiet. She said, uh-uh. She kept making noise. He was like, I'm calling the cops. And... She, Travis then goes and runs out. Travis goes, runs out, because what else is he going to do? He's a little punk at. Anyway, we're back at Marcy's, and Marcy talks to Brad, because now Brad knows that Marcy is with child. Brad brought a pregnancy test, and you need to take this. Like, what? Oh, you've been talking to that wife of yours. Well, yes, I'm pregnant. And, unfortunately, it's not yours. It's Randall's. Timing-wise, it's Randall's. It has to be. He said, oh, Lord, don't let Randall know. We already know don't let Randall know because Randall's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Why would we ever let someone like Randall know that he has a child? You see what's going on there with him with Alex? What do you mean with him with Alex? Oh, yeah, with all that mess? Yeah, that's right. I wouldn't want that to happen to me. Oh, yeah, take the court? Really? Yep, wouldn't want that to happen to me. I really wish it was yours, though, Brad. I really wish it was yours. I really do, but... I can't lie. I can't fake the funk. So are you? I'm having my child. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Come over here. So they kiss. They embrace. She, he says he loves his wife. She says she knows, but she wants him to hold her anyway. Great. Great. Now we're at the wackest impromptu night party. No, day. Te te technically, it's during the daytime, but it's supposed to be a night party. Nightclub. Strip show whatever ben comes there because julius is set it up he set it up and he wants ben there he gives he says ben what do you want he was like oh because he's like we have all the drugs that you can uh think of all the candies as he calls it gives ben some what was it pure uh colombian i said oh Lord, are we talking about drugs or body parts but he really wanted Ben to go and have sex with the girl just to prove that he was straight. Which I'm thinking, Julius, I'm like, what, why is Ben here? Ben's finally asking the right questions because Ben was like, oh, I have a girlfriend. No, no, I'm going to have a girl. I was like, choose. I need to see you have sexual relations with a woman in front of me. That's the type of vibe that Julius was giving off. So Ben was like, oh, okay, I guess her. And then goes and the girl starts slobbing on Ben's knob. I said, we're really doing this? I'm like, Julius, why are you looking over there? <laughs> why are you looking over there, man? Because Julius really needs Ben to convince him that he's not gay. I said, all right, all right. Because Julius said, there's some guys here too. 
I can have them come. I said, oh, are those the guys that you used in the back? Anyway, I, I guess not. I guess not. But he was like, no, 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 I don't want that. No, I don't want that. While that's going on, Ben felt uncomfortable. So he's like, oh, man, cameras. I don't know. People might see. Julius, oh, you're afraid of some people seeing? That's what, that, I'm here, and that's what you're afraid of? Okay. Boom! Gunshot. And everyone ducks down. It's like, does anyone have a camera here? Does anyone even have their phones here? No, because this is a no phone, no camera party. Got it. Turn back on the music. And then people started to get up and dip. I That will be my cue to be like, exit stage left. Gone. Gone. But Julius finally tells Ben what his goal is. Here's the thing. Out with the old regime, in with the new. Uh, apparently, uh, Julius had his father had some old people within the FBI. There were three people, actually, within the FBI slash police department. And one of them was the captain. The captain, they started to investigate him. So that's the real reason why the captain is gone. They started an investigation. So the captain got pulled out of there. And now he's somewhere else. As of now, we don't know the location. I do know where it is. But I'm just going along with the storyline for what we know so far. And... That's why Julius said, I need someone on the inside that I can trust. Eddie, he's someone else that needs to be taken out. That's the real reason why you're here. You're here because Eddie's going to be out. I need to make relationships with some people in the police. And I figure I choose you. I can get you drugged up, hopped up. I can control you. You just need to know that you're being used. That's the real reason why you're here. That's the real reason why I constantly test you. I need to see what you're made of. I need to see if you... I can really have you a part of my new team. The new squad. He was like, oh, okay. And then they continue on with the drugs. And the music. And the blowjobs. And the what have you. I said, oh, okay. But I know something. Something's going to pop off next season. Something salacious is going to pop off next season. Because you can't go with all these sexual and you and those and nothing happened. I don't, I don't see that. Now, we see that. Lucian, he's in the bed with Nally. His phone starts ringing because he was trying to cozy up to Nally. He got the kids to sleep. Everything's going well. And she was like, you need to take that. And why did he say... She was like, that's not one of my toys, Buzz. I said, did you say that's not one of your... No, you two little freaky beats. Now, what ended up happening was, it was Esperanza. Esperanza says that she has this deal with Kelly where every three hours, she calls to make sure that Kelly's okay. Kelly even set an alarm. And she hasn't heard from her. She keeps calling her. She keeps calling the house. Nothing. So she needs to go over there. She said, okay, I'm going to go over there. Lucian, he goes. He starts walking. He doesn't necessarily see anything. Natalie's still in the house. And she sees this guy. This guy jump over the fence. So then she calls Lucian and says, Lucian, Lucian, there's a, there's a guy who just jumped over the fence. Around the back. Go, go, go. And he said, go back in the house, call the cops, and then call Kelly. I said, okay. Okay. Oh, I just want to clarify. Did I just say that Travis ran out of the house? I think so. But he ran out of the house and Kelly ran into Justice's uh, room. Now, Dion, Officer Dion and Rick are there. And Lord Jesus, Lucian said, excuse me, so now that you finally know what the dude's cuckoo for Cocoa Pops, can you do your job? Can you? Can you do your job? Can you? Okay, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it. Uh, well, I'm sorry. And this is where Kelly, and I said, Lord Kelly, you've been irking me this entire season, but you've vindicated yourself with this one scene. With this one scene, because the next one pissed me off. Because apparently she didn't have an alarm. Apparently, she's going to have the people come in, uh, you know, try and get that alarm set up as soon as possible. I said, Kelly, you really starting to irk me. But when Kelly went off, an officer, more so Dion than Rick, uh, Officer Dion was like, wait a minute. So, did I have to go and end up six feet under? Did I have to go and end up dead on that bathroom floor for you to finally realize I was telling you the truth? I went in there. You didn't believe me. Well, I'm sorry. I was just doing my job. Like, now I'm going to do my job to try and get the guy. With the evidence that I had, I had to go in the zoo. Oh, you had to go in the zoo? You make an ass out of yourself when you assume? How dare you? 
go and make it seem like it was my fault. How dare you go and not give me the benefit of the doubt? How dare you try and make it seem like I'm crazy and that I'm trying to do this, go get over on this dude. And now you want me to go and be like, oh, thank you so much, officer, for finally doing your job? That's what you think? How stupid are you dumb? <laughs> I said, Kelly. Kelly. So Kelly's going to stay at Natalie's and, um, you know, with justice, they walk her over because Travis is cuckoo. Now we're at the courts because Randall has his lawyer. Alex comes in late. The judge said, excuse me, I almost had to hold you in contempt. She said, I apologize. Now he says, I have the DNA uh, test. And Alex says, no, no, can I just say one thing? Randall says, like, she was late. She was the cause for all of this, and now she wants to talk? Uh, uh, no. Just says, yes, you have the floor. Well, I want to say that I apologize for wasting your time. What do you mean? <sighs> Randall is the father. He is the father, and I just did this because I needed to use up more time. So you're telling me that you used the court system to gain more time to do what exactly? To do what exactly? I don't know. You had visitations to you know, breastfeed the child. She got to breast, she got to breastfeed the child. You see these over here? She got to breastfeed the child? Why, why? How come she had to do that? How come she had to see the baby? I just told you, I'm sorry. Do you want to breastfeed the child yourself? <laughs> now, the judge said that's great and all, but I still have to go and open up these documents and read this. Randall. By the results of this DNA test, we are 99.9% .9 sure you are not the father. <laughs> and then Randall and Luca, what? You are? You are? I hate you. He stormed out. Alex had that look of, because the judge said, you know, I have to give visitation, uh, the baby, to the legalized parent here that's currently here. And that is you. You'll get your baby back. You'll have visitation. Uh, you will have visitation, visitation rights. In 30 days, we're going to reevaluate. And if your house is a stable household, then we'll see what happens. But Lord... When the test results came back that Randall was not the father, I cackled and died. Because there's... <laughs> I you don't understand, because I had a feeling that that was going to happen. You couldn't tell me that that wasn't going to happen. You couldn't, because I knew it. Now, let's, there's been so much hoopla with this court case. It was 100% possible that the DNA results, results got messed up and someone else got the, um, it was incorrect. That's 100% possible. Or, who's to say that there isn't some black in Alex's bloodline and maybe that's also the reason why they hate, you know, blacks. Maybe someone went and dibble and dabble. It's just like, oh, we're going to pretend like that never happened. Or you lie and say that it was rape, just like what they did with uh, Randall. Or it could be Brad's side, because Brad, he's white, but he's wherever he's from. He's from overseas somewhere, and you know there was a lot of dibble and dabbling. Absolutely, because only a small percentage of um, black people's slaves came here to America. The majority was out in the West, and all that in Europe. So who's to say? But we'll see. Leave, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think regarding that. Now, Kelly, she's back at her house. And, well, actually, she was at Natalie's house. She wakes up. And Natalie's just like, you okay? You good? Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention how Kelly's just like, well, now you know Travis did it because he has a bite mark on his ding dong. <laughs> Not a bite mark. Why'd you bite it off? Anyway. Uh, Kelly's over it. Natalie says you need to get a gun. For real, you need to protect you and yours. Kelly's just like, no, a gun. But you know what? You're right. You're you right. I'm ready. Uh, Natalie's like, okay, we're going back to your house, but I'm going to walk you over there. 
<laughs> Lucian gets a call from Pete, and Pete says, I'm being moved. You are? Yeah, because they're going in on Eddie. What? They're going after him today. Today? You sure? They wouldn't move me unless they were going after him today. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'll give you more information when I get All right. Cool. 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 <laughs> Lucian's in this chair. He scoots over. He scoots over and sees this. Hey, pal. See all the things I say about you and thought about you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Steven was like, Ugh, I didn't call it. It was Lamont. You know your boss, i.e. my boss, Lamont? He superseded me and said that he wants to take down Eddie now. Oh, he did? My brother from the mother, he did. Okay. Shout out to Lamont. Shout out to Lamont. <laughs> Lucius was just like, all right. Yeah, it sucks because they disguised. I was really going after them, but I guess it's, that's over now. I said, I guess it is. Now we see Kelly. She finally has security system installed. And then we see this woman. It's Natalie's friend. Natalie's friend who shows her credentials to prove that, yes, she is licensed. She normally does this stuff online. And that's why she can get it done quickly. Excuse me. Now... Kelly gets a Glock. She's like, how does that feel? Oh, it's kind of heavy, but do you like it? Mm -hmm, I sure do. All right. Uh, let me go and get your social security so we can do the background check. And you'll be free and clear. We just need a credit card. So they do the, they're, she's signing stuff to do the background check. They're buying her card because they want that money up front. Mind you, mind you, Kelly wants it loaded. I said, that's right. Stop playing around, Kelly. Stop playing around. And of course, she needs a um, safety box. For the gun, the one doesn't have that there. But that doesn't matter because Kelly's card declines. It declines again. It's like, oh, I just paid that one, so it should be good. Oh, it didn't? Well, mm, okay. Well, I know the account's good, so maybe it's just the type of purchase. Use this other card. I said, okay. Oh, uh, declined. Kelly said, no, wait a minute. What? Well, if you don't have the money, then no, no, no. I can go to the bank. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. You sure? 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Well, can you wait out in your car? Excuse me? You want me? Look, it's just going to charge you extra already because I have to go and cancel on some clients and push stuff back. And that's an inconvenience, an inconvenience fee. I'm going to carry you an inconvenience fee. Okay, but can you wait on your car? I'll be out in 15 minutes. The bank's right around the corner. Excuse uh, Thank you for your hospitality and for your kindness. I appreciate you. Gotcha, girl. She calls her bank to call her friend. Girl, can you go and run my uh, run my card? Yeah, we have your all your cards on file. Like which one? Well, we'll start with the first one. Oh my God, Kelly, you're over eighty thousand dollars in debt on these cards. It's like what? Oh my God, Kelly, why is these sex toys? Kel oh my Kelly, I didn't know you get down. You know me. You know I don't get down like that. I know you, but I don't really know you like that. But Kelly, if the if they found out what? Cause you're not saying anything, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, don't say anything. I'm going to go figure this out. But Kelly, these cards are attached to your debit card. Attached to your banking account. Check it. All of your money is gone. It's gone. That's why. That's why the bank. That's why the mortgage called twice. And sent me an email. Because all my stuff's about to. All, all the checks I'm making are about to bounce. I said. Yeah, but you're Joanne the Scammer Part 2, so you should be used to this. You should be able to switch this up real quick. Come on, Kelly. But then again, you got caught and your dude took the fall, so never mind. Travis! Travis. Travis is a savage. I don't know when he got the information, but he got it. And you can't tell me that it's not him. Because that mother is not crafty enough to do this. <gasps> but what if it was the mom? What if it was Terrell's mom? That would oh, I would cackle if that was the case. I would cackle because she was vengeful. You never know. You never know with the show. Eddie sees his sports car. Looks like a Ferrari. Uh, driving. Room. <laughs> Pulls over. Ben's inside. I said, Ben. Dang, Ben. You can't even hide your feet. Ben had coke and a and a dime. Ben. That was more than a dime bag. That was like a quarter. That was more than a quarter. He had a lot of cocaine. Eddie said, what are you doing? Who are you? 
What, where'd you get this? Oh, so you rolling with these guys? Are you rolling with some high profile junk? Who, who, who are you? No, I didn't do it. Look, I took it from some kids who took it, and so I've just been joyriding around. Ben, you idiot. Just go away. Just go. I said, of course you want him to go because you want to go and take that car and take that drugs for yourself. You're not slick. I know you. I know you. So he yokes up Ben, tells Ben to leave, and then Ben does leave, but. <laughs> Ben does leave, but I think <laughs> he takes Eddie's car, and I said, why the heck would you do that? So now Natalie doesn't realize, what are all these ladies doing here? What are all these ladies doing here? Yeah, the ladies are there because Lucius invited them. Lucius invited them to come over and have a good time. So right now it's just Kelly, uh, Esperanza, and... Ugh, Alex. Alex is out of the loop. Kelly doesn't want to talk about her issues. They just want to talk about how beautiful the home is, how great the home is. Oh, yeah. And I forgot to mention that when Kelly was staying over at Natalie, she let the cat out of the bag regarding the fact that Ramsey and his mother uh, both died in the same room. So now Kelly's, so now uh, Natalie wants to go and get a Bible. She wants to pray the spirits away. <laughs> she wants to cleanse the house. But things are going to get interesting. Nothing really happened in part one of that. Let the ladies come together. Lucian, he gets a call. Lucian gets a call and it's from Natalie. Lucian's just like, I'm kind of busy. Like, what's, what's going on? Natalie's irked because she's trying to figure out, you invite these women over at the house and you want me to go entertain them when you're the one to invite them? Excuse me, come to the house. I'm busy right now. Click. Ooh. I said, oh, okay. Ben comes out of nowhere. They're like, we can't find, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't find Eddie. We don't understand. Maybe he got tipped off. Maybe he got tipped off. Stephen said, maybe he got tipped off. Tipped off. Lucian's saying maybe it was Ben. Maybe Ben tipped off. Stephen said, hello, I'm in with them. I'm, Ben's not that smart. Ben's stupid. He doesn't know what's going on. And then Lucian's like, hello, hello, Ben, Ben, where is Eddie? I don't know. But you have his car. So you know where he is. I don't know. He went, he went off somewhere. Go and find him. How am I supposed to go and find him? You always find a way to find him, so go and find him, dog. Be his little bee and, dog, and find him. It's like, okay, fine. Ugh. Um, I said no one's going to comment about him and his coke at Fiend. Like, what? Now, this is interesting. I don't know how Julius found Eddie. I know he's keeping tabs on everyone, but I don't know if Ben gave him a message and said Eddie has a car. I don't know if that was part of the plan and we just don't know it because there's always extra storyline. But we see Eddie, so he's like, oh, I said, oh, he's, oh, he's getting domed. We got it. He's getting domed, probably by some prostitute. Here comes Julius like, oh, so this is what you're doing in my car? So why do you have my car? Well, it's long. Interesting. Here's how this works, Booba the Fool. Don't go back to the station. What do you mean don't go back? Don't go back to the station. They found you. They found out. They're coming after you. They're going to pinch you. You're going to jail. Do you not understand this? It's like, what? Why? What do you mean why? What do you mean why? What do you mean how? How do you not know this? They're doing this because they know that you have some illegal involvement. And now the FBI is coming after you. It was Lucian. L who's Lucian? I don't know. I said, wow, Lucian has good people. The fact that his name never gets back to... Shout out to Lucian. I don't know Lucian, but I have some moles in there. So that's how I'm able to get this information. I used to have three other moles, but the they got pinched. They got pinched. One of them was the captain. The captain? What do you mean? He was on vacation. Yeah! An extended vacation to Colombia. Because I am the one that sent him there. I had to pull him out. Just like now you... I have to pull you out. Because if I don't pull you out, then you're going to get pinched. And if you get pinched and if you open your mouth, I promise you, that'll be the last thing you ever, ever say or do. That's how this works. That's how real life works. You went and wanted to go and roll with the big dogs. Now you got fleas. They're all over you. So now I'm trying to do you a favor. Like I said, disappear. Don't go back to that station or be gone as in dead. You got two options. Figure it out. I want my car back. I want you to clean the seats. Come back to my house. You got it? That is what you need to do. Clean the car. Come back to my house. We'll figure out the rest. 
Eddie kicked out the prostitute, and now he's nervous. Now, Marcy, and I said, oh, this is amazing. Actually, I was so... So Marcy comes, and she's like, oh, hey. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Esperanza. Hey, Alex. I said, uh-oh. Fight, fight. Well, ha what's going on? What's the hatch? Any gossip? Any gossip? Anyone? Anyone? Oh, yes, I guess I'll go first, because no one wants to talk. Well, I'm expecting. Oh, my God, congratulations. Mind you, when she first came in, everyone gave her the stereo. She doesn't belong here. I said, excuse me, Alex doesn't belong here. So you're going to protect the what? But not the blow. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. You're going to protect the little dainty wee bit. <laughs> Got it. But I love the fact that Marcy was relentless. I appreciate it all so much. They were telling her, Marcy, stop. Calm down. Calm down. This woman opened her legs, had the whole baby with Randall, complaining that Randall's trying to get custody of the baby. That's not... Hello, Randall can't get custody. Well, I'm jumping ahead, but I'm expecting, and it's with Brad, and it was great. It was magical. The fact that apparently Brad was... In, uh, he got his, his stuff cut and still, then didn't sound right, but still was able to produce with Ma. Yes, I am, I am blessed. Oh, I'm blessed, I am blessed, I am blessed. Not only that, I, <laughs> it's great because we both have things in common. They got the same man. They had the same ex. Both having babies. It's just so beautiful, but you know, I'm stop being messy. Natalie, your home is so beautiful. It is. Your children are great. Lucian's a good man. He has great taste. And Alex and I have the same great taste as well. And partners, I said, you're doing, <laughs> you're doing just enough for me. It's not too much. You're doing just enough for me. But do you know what the great news is? So... You know about the whole baby daddy thing with Lucian. Oh no, Lucian isn't the father. Lucian isn't the father, are you sure? Because I know the DNA test. Miss Louise told me that Randall told her that Randall's not the father. The DNA test proved and the results are in. You are not the father. <laughs> Woo! And that baby's still black. Which means, are you sure that you've never had any interactions? Because I thought I was sure myself. I really thought I was sure myself. But I was wrong. She was my friend. And I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> she goes. She gets up. She storms off. <sighs> I'm so mad. <sighs> I'm so upset. Natalie's ear takes her. just like, now wait a minute. What? It's like, hello, hello, did you sleep with Lucian? Did you sleep with Lucian? I said, Natalie, stop being paranoid. Actually, at this point, at this point, with it being Alex, Jesus. So they got Natalie back in the house. Marcy said, oh, hey, Brad. She goes and she kisses Brad. She rubs up on him. So like, I'll see you later. I said, Brad, why'd you kiss Marcy back? <laughs> Brad, you being messy. I was like, okay, go, go home. I'll see you later. And Brad goes and tells Alex, I'm sorry, I told Marcy, I was sitting right outside. She's like, I'm going to go nowhere. I told her to leave you alone. You did? Yeah, I did, because I don't want her to you. You don't? No. You, why not? Because I, you know, I still love you. I still love you, too. It's just so messed up. I'm not sure I can handle what's happening, what's going on. Well, the thing is, at the end of the day, I want to make it work. You want to make it work? I love you. I love you more. No, but we can't do this. No, yes, we can. No, but we can't. Yes, we can. Alex was all up on him. was like, do it. Make love to me. Make love to me. And then they did it. And I was disgusted. I was disgusted because they were even banging against the wall that, that was right next to the door. So Marcy heard it. Marcy heard it. She was pissed. She got in that car and realized that Brad isn't her man. Uh, Lucian is just like, Eddie's canceled. Eddie's canceled. Eddie's canceled. Steven's mad, but Eddie's canceled. 
<laughs> and he's canceled. And he's driving. He's he knows something. They keep driving. They're like, Eddie, put your hands where I can see them. This is the police. This is the FBI. You're pinched. So he was pinched in the Ferrari. He's like, you know what? Since I'm done, I'm taking that split. And for a moment, for some reason, if I almost said, wait a minute, is this Lush, uh, Julius's guys, or is Eddie really pinched? And I said, no, this is the FBI. It's, it's the FBI. So now we're back at Natalie's house, and she's like, no, no, no. I want to go and talk to her. So she wants to bring uh, Alex's kids to her house so that she can go and confront to Alex. And I said, no, Natalie, that's kind of messy. Natalie, that's messy. The kids go and run in, uh, what's her name? Kelly's house, because Kelly has a new security system and justice says, do you guys want to see the uh, security system? They said, sure, why not? Yay! And they're trying to convince her, oh, no, she know that it's just Marcy playing with your head. Hello? She betrayed her best friend, Marcy. Why wouldn't she do the same to me? I said, that's true. It was like, but you know, Mar Marcy's just one way and Alex is another. I said, Alex is trash. So what are you talking about? The police come and I'm thinking, oh, they found Travis. Oh, it's Travis dead. No, Travis isn't the reason why they're there. They're there to arrest Kelly. But like I said, for the murder of Ramsey. I said, if Travis tampered with that evidence down there to get... <sighs> Kelly wasn't even in the house! But now we don't know what's going to happen. Because we were gunshot. We don't know if a kid actually got hit. We don't know if they're dead. We don't know. What we do know is there was a gunshot. And everyone, we heard the kid scream. And then we heard the lady scream. Oh, that's it. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'm so glad this is done. I'm so glad. Time, time to some regular stuff. Like Greenleaf and the haves and the have-nots. And Big Brother and my summer. I'm just ready for summer TV. I'm so ready for summer TV.